Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. This is Accounting Nightmare. And this is new music from Isle of Armour. I'll just fade it out and we'll start actually playing Isle of Armour. Welcome. Hey Lauren, how are ya? Seems like there's a decent amount of new music in the DLC, so I'm looking forward to that because the music that's already in the game is amazing. We're going to have even more! <laughs> so good! You're good? Ah, oh, that's good to hear. I'm good too today. The team! I, like, I really like this team. It turned out really well. I love them all. I'm proud of them all. They're all champions. I love them. I was breeding some Pokemon for my uh, living Pokedex. Hey, walking on the sun, how are you? Um, have I got my Pokemon with me? Yes, I do. Good. <laughs> yeah, I was doing some Pokemon home stuff. Okay, so today we're going to start the DLC. Actually, first, I'm just going to go visit the digging duo. Since they're a daily thing, I want fossils. So I can get fossil Pokemon. Digging duo this way. Ha! Dig, dig, dig. Dig. Hey, panicking. Hey, rival. Hey, Rose. Welcome. Just started a Majora's Mask 3D playthrough using the new MM3D restoration patch. Oh, what's that? That sounds cool. Ooh, I didn't see what he got me. Did he get anything good? Dig as often as you want. Oh, really? Oh, cool. I thought it was a daily thing. Oh, a metal coat. What a stone. Star piece. Ice stone, yes. Oh, more. Ah. Oh. Six treasures. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was daily. Maybe that's before you become champion? Oh, that's cool. Very nice. Alright, well, let's go to... So I, th I, I forget if I have to get there from this train station. We'll go see. Actually, I want to go visit the research lab too. See if Hop's hanging out there. That'd be cool. Brum. Reverts most of the more controversial changes. Back to how it was in N64 original. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I'll have to look into that because, uh, yeah, there are a lot of changes I liked in the 3DS version, but a lot I did not. So I'll have to see what they change because uh, they might make that into my favourite version if they do. That would be cool. Oh, hey, Hop's here. Nice. If it isn't Mel. Hop's been studying pretty hard, surprisingly. I'm sure he'd be glad to know you dropped by for a visit. Well, I'm giving it my best with my studies. It's not easy, but it's still great fun. Yeah, I really like how he decided to become a researcher. Because, like, quite often your rival is just like, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm still a trainer, I'm just not as good as you. But they stay as a trainer. Hop's like, you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be a professor. And that's cool. Don't need to expend magic to swim fast as Zora. Maps the transformation mask to D-pad inputs. Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh, that sounds awesome. I'll, I'll have to use that. That's cool. Thanks for telling me about that. Hey, King Broly. You were super disappointed with MM3D to the point you never beat it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I really liked, um, I really liked how it kept track of some of the side quests that 
the bomber's notebook didn't keep track of in the original, like um, uh, the lottery one. It, it, I think it did a, a good job of keeping track of that stuff. Uh, and I loved how you could jump forward to specific times with the song of time, uh, the song of double time. That was fantastic. But yeah, then there are a lot of other changes, like a lot of the boss fight changes I didn't like at all. <laughs> um, yeah, the Zora swimming changes. But yeah, that's that's really cool that they're making a, a patch for that. That's awesome. I'll have to have to play through that. Alright. Let's go to the Isle of Armor. If I remember how to get there. Hello. Aha! It is through this dude. Armor station. Looks like I can also go to the Crown Tundra station. We'll start off with Isle of Armor though. Oh look at this! I'm on a little train! Oh that's cute! I'm on a train. I can't complain. Also, I watched Twilight Wings last night. I watched all all eight of them. Yeah, there were seven, and then there was an extra one. That the, the extra one was basically just an ad for the DLC. <laughs> but the original seven were really good. God, Leon, Leon, mate. <laughs> That was hilarious. And uh, oh, the episode about Hop's Wooloo. That Wooloo is so cute. Oh my god. I loved how it was uh, pretending to be a Charizard. Ah. Uh, it, it was really good. The patch also reverts the bosses to mostly how they work on the N64. Nice. Boss fight, Zora Swimmer. How the improved frame rate messes with the scheduling of certain characters. Oh, I had not. I did not realise that. But yeah, the boss fights were... I, I appreciate they tried to make the boss fights a bit better. I never really thought the boss fights were great in Majora's Mask. Um, except for the one where you, you're you the Goron and you're rolling around and you, you just you stay as a spiky ball when you kill the boss. But they, they kind of messed with that in a way I didn't like. I just wanted to be a spiky ball and instead I had to be a spiky ball to knock it down and then attack the eyeball or whatever. Yeah, Goat. Goat was a great boss. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check that patch out. I am, thanks Rose. How are you? Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armour? I'm researching Pokemon biology here on this island. Oh, are you the, are you the sus person who was working with the... Uh, those two Drongos, Shieldbert and Sword, whatever the name was. You want to register the Pokemon you catch on this island to your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. Yer! The Isle of Armour Pokedex has been added. When you've caught a lot of Pokemon on the Isle of Armour, come back and show me your Pokedex. More Pokedexes to fill. Yeah. And so I think Crown Tundra also has one. I have 73 cord. Oh, I've got Slowpoke. Uh, what else we got? Oh, okay, some of them are shared with the main Pokedex. Sligoo. I don't have Goomy, so I can't see where Goomy is. <laughs> Ah, well, that's what the internet is for. Rum. Goes up to... Well, it goes beyond 207, but that's as far as I can see. More stuff to fill. Sweet. Thank you, Walking on the Sun. That's awesome. Restoration.zora.re Fix Zora Link. Fixed water hopping? Oh yeah, they did something strange to water hopping, didn't they? Fast transform, more fluid bomber's notebook. Less annoyingly slow pop-ups and transitions. Sweet. Optional song of time. Oh yes, thank you! Optional song of time saving. Yeah, that was something I forgot about, that it didn't save your game when you played Song of Time, so I would like 
I would play some of the time, then I would have to go to a statue to save. Whereas I like just loading up my save file and seeing Dawn of the first day. So that's that's cool. Slow time to one third speed, just like the original. Improve bosses. More fun with Twin Mole. Reduces number of cycles. Nice, nice. Removes the giant eyeballs from Adolwa, Goat, and Gyorg. They don't add much. Nice. Optional bindings to make the game easier to play on the controller. Man, that's cool. Compatible with the 3DS. So, do you have to... Assumes you have a homebrew 3DS, yeah. So can you apply the patch to... I mean, I guess you can't if you've got the cart game, or do you have to, like, get hold of an, a ROM? Game card with 1.1... Oh, you can! Sweet! Thank you! I am gonna play that! Thank you! Bit of work decided to relax and dress up for the evening. Nice, nice. Ooh, that's a nice dress. Yeah, if, if I wore dresses, I'd, I'd go for one like that. Nice, uh, pretty blue flowers. Alright, I shall play the game now, hey? <laughs> yeah, that, that patch is awesome. I did not know that existed. I'm really excited now. Uh, sure, I'll show you my Pokédex. Hehe, <laughs> let me see. Current progress is 90 seen and 73 caught. Whoa, what a talent! I bet you'll catch over 100 Pokémon in no time. You've been checking Pokémon dens, right? You can meet rare Pokémon in the dens. I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but... There's a strange person standing outside the station, and I'm a bit scared to head out. <laughs> Are you me? <laughs> Aha! There you are! Right on time, too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. Hmm. Hey, have we met before or something? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm Clara. I've been at the dojo a while, so they sent me to help out the newbie. And I think you got the wrong person, lady. You can up upload your cart save and ROM itself. Oh, really? Nice. That's cool. Highly recommend you use the version of the patch that also speeds up first person aiming. Oh, that's cool. That sounds like the ultimate version of Majora's Mask. Oh, come on. I know you're the new student who's supposed to join the Master Dojo. What's going on? And I, am I being mocked by a kid? But I'm the colourful, caring and charismatic Clara. Well then, how about we have a quick battle? Just so, you know, we can see who's better. I'll be waiting outside, so come on out when you're ready. Yeah. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Was that a person from the dojo? Maybe I'll pass on joining. <laughs> hey, why don't you join instead? Oh, she was waiting for this person. Oh, that's funny. And we've taken his place. Yeah, well, not sure what she uses, so we'll find out. Also higher res textures, nice. Oh, you had an old bottle of soda near your your current drink. Oh, you drank the wrong one accidentally, or... I bet this is your first time on the Isle of Armour. I bet you can't wait to start exploring. But first things first. 
we need to make sure you're ready. Since I've already been at the Master Dojo for a little while now, I'll be the one testing you out. Go easy on me, okay? Pokemon Trainer Clara. Fairy types? Poison types? Poison types. Remember, it's just a test, so take it easy. I'll be nice and gentle as I knock you out flat. <laughs> Bloody poison point. About to get off. When you get off the train after a long trip, the first thing you want to do is a battle, yes. <laughs> oh, it's a good way to. Stretch your muscles, I guess. Oh, this this is good music. Slow poke. Um, do an earthquake. Oh yeah, that's right. The the character is different in Shield, isn't it? Yeah, I remember them saying something about that. How am I the one getting backed into a corner? This should not be a thing. Wait, what are you? Oh, just psychic. Okay. I thought you were poison. <laughs> That's right. Let my poison drive you crazy. Crazy. Look, the first damage you took on the Isle of Armor. Consider it a little gift from me. Pokemon's gonna make short work of. Huh? That was my last one? Rip. Psychic type user. Oh, yep, I think I saw him in that. Uh, in Twilight Wings. Huh? No, 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 no. No, no. Th there must be some mistake. Not good. Not good at all, man. How'd this kid get so strong? If this kid joins the dojo, nobody's gonna pay attention to my strength. I could just tell her to buzz off. No, they asked me to bring in the new student. Ahem. Hey, that wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like I was going all out. Not at all, but still. But, you see, our dojo is one that's got a long-standing reputation. Even the famous champion Leon trained at our place. No offence, but maybe, just maybe, you're not quite good enough to make it? So, how about this? Why not enjoy the sights, but just stay away from the Master Dojo over there, okay? Here, I'll even give you this. You know, as a souvenir. Style card. Increases the selection in boutiques and hairstyles. Oh, nice. I've got more stuff. <laughs> yeah! I'm, I'm the champion, excuse me. Do you not watch the news or anything? Just show it when you visit a boutique or a hair salon and they'll let you buy stuff that's not available to most people. Anyway, I guess that's that. See you never. <laughs> She's kind of funny. <gasps> Jigglypuff. Oh, that's how you get Marnie's outfit and hair. Oh, nice. Very cool. Quick ball. Is Marnie confirmed to have the DLC? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that does confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Balloon Pokemon. Jigglypuff has top-notch lung capacity, even by comparison to other Pokemon. It won't stop singing its lullabies until its foes fall asleep. Bonnie! <gasps> Gen Z! <laughs> Let's swap. What can I hit it with that won't kill it? No, those are physical. I mean, I can just thunder wave it, I guess. Oh, I did teach false swipe, didn't I? Yes, I did. I did. I can use that. Oh, not if it's got a recoil move. Mm. Oh, I'll just throw some balls. Yes. Thank you for cooperating. Join my collection. Egg Pokemon. The egg Chansey carries is not only delicious, but also packed with nutrition. It's used as a high-class cooking ingredient. Delicious. I love eggs. Hello, Bunny. Do I have you? Were you in the original? I think you were. Weren't you? Maybe I'm thinking of a different Pokemon. No, I do not have you. Quick ball! Another bunny Pokemon that's less cute. Ah, oh, what's uh, which one's that? If both of Baneri's ears are rolled up, something is wrong with its body or mind. It's a sure sign the Pokemon is in need of care. Oh, Cute little thing. <laughs> Hello? Are you singing? It sounds weird. Hmm. Remember trying to catch one of those in the Safari Zone? Oh, the Chansey? Yeah. I, uh, in red and blue, I use the, um, the, uh, the coast trick, Cinnabar coast trick, to just catch this Chansey <laughs> rather than use the Safari balls. Never expected Jigglypuff to sound like that. Yeah. Kingla. Pincer Pokemon. Its large and hard pincer has 10,000 horsepower strength. However, being so big, it is unwieldy to move. Look at all these slow pokes. Ooh, got something over here. Oh, shiny, shiny. Valerica Twig. It's a material for an accessory for a certain Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Not sure what that is. A 
clef key. So that's where my keys went. <laughs> I love the idea of clef key. Clef key is where your lost keys go. Old Gen Lucky Egg. 5% chance to appear on a Pokemon with a 1% encounter rate with a high chance to run. Oh, I forgot about that. Ew. Ew. Uh, wait, are you a... It's still... Is it Ghost? No, it's still Fairy, isn't it? I think... I remember that... I think the strat was to use a Pokemon with Thief. And just use that against any wild chance of your sword to try and get their egg before they ran. Or something like that. It was something like that. <laughs> you can use something a bit stronger. Um. Oh, what was that strat for then? I, I remember have. I remember using a thief Pokemon to try to find items of some kind. What was that for? Hmm. Not sure. Alright. Ultra Ball. <laughs> oh, wait. Like, it just sounds like jingling keys. It's great. <laughs> Lucky eggs were on Polippers 5% of the time in all this. Oh, okay. Didn't know about that. Keyring Pokemon. This Pokemon is constantly collecting keys. Entrust a clef key with important keys, and the Pokemon will protect them no matter what. Do they ever give clef key different form, or with, like different appearances, where it has different keys? Don't think they did, did they? They should have though. You use thief for light balls and thick clubs. Hmm, maybe it was something like that I used it for. Berries. Berries. More. Too much effort. Hmm, <laughs> that's a lot. Brum. Let's look at the map. I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm heading out here. Ooh, that's a cool looking island. Honey Calm Island. Oh, well, let's see what's out here. See something? Tentacool! I forget if I have you. Probably not. FF4 Pink Tail. 1 in 64 chance to be dropped by an enemy that has a 1 in 64 chance to spawn in only one single obscure room in the final dungeon. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Can be traded for the most powerful armor piece in the game. <laughs> oh wow, that's mean. Is the enemy tough to kill as well? Jellyfish. 
Tentacle is not a particularly strong swimmer. It drifts across the surface of shallow seas as it searches for prey. Yeah. Rom. Hello? What the frick's that? Is that a rotom? If you weave together Galarica twigs, you can make a bracelet. Give me eight twigs, I'll weave a cuff for you. I don't know what that is. Really? It's super cute, though. Alright, well, I'll, uh, I'll come back. What the hell's this? Oh, it's a, it's a fridge rotom. <laughs> fridge rotom! I didn't know it was that colour. I thought it was the more of a bluey kind of colour. Nice. Pokemon, where you can see wild fridges. Plasma Pokemon. Frost Rotom. Rotom assumes this form when it takes over a refrigerator powered by a special motor. It battles by spewing cold air. What you get? Overheat. Way a little word. So I've heard that way a lord is. Uh, it's not one you actually encounter, it's just decoration, and if you go near it, it despawns forever. So you're supposed to just leave it as a nice little... nice little s sight. <laughs> That's what I heard, anyway. They have fridges out in the wild for Rotom to process. Ah! <laughs> oh. Frickin' Carvana. Oh, sorry, Sharpedo. That sounds like irresponsible waste disposal. Yep. <laughs> yep. What was that? Philippa. Hello. I think I have you. Rom. Well, I don't have one of you yet, so. Oh wait, I do have one of you. Bye. Why would water Pokemon want to get near you when you're giving out all that electricity? Good question. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. They're already annoying. <laughs> I can hear you. I'm on land now. Jerk. Toxic orb. Here comes another one. Okay, I was worried it was actually going to come onto land. <laughs> Sharpedo doesn't want to take no for an answer. <laughs> yeah, the Sharpedos are jerks in this. It's kind of just free roaming so far, isn't it? And I guess I could go do the actual thing I'm supposed to do. Let's go do that. Aha! Yeah, there's the way of Lord. What was in the wild encounters? Oh, 
Another Jiggly. The enemy that drops a pink tail has 10,000 HP, max physical defense, stamina, and speed. Absorbs all elements except dark and holy and is immune to most status ailments. That sounds horrible. Honestly, I would just cheat to get the pink tail. I'm down for cheating when the game is that rude. The thing you're supposed to do is ignoring the thing you're supposed to do. <laughs> Ooh, there's a den over there with a Pokemon. Let's see what we can see. More. Yeah, there's the big chonker. Hello, bunny. Coat. What Pokemon? What kind of. No, you can't have my keys! Bloody Clef Key following me, trying to steal my car keys. Hey, Beniri. It's a three star. Nah. Ring. Ooh, a um. I forget what you're called. Comfy. Yeah, comfy. Comfy is cute. Also, it appears in group of groups of five, and the drop is per group, not per enemy. Oh god, it just gets worse. <laughs> Oh, I. What you think you're doing? You get back in that bowl. I really need to find someone to heal up Lanky. Full swap. Right, right, gets confused. Critical capture. Excuse me, that was a critical capture. You're supposed to stay in the bowl. I'm afraid to hit it again in case it uh, hurts itself and does a ton of damage. Posey Picker Pokemon. Comfy picks flowers with its vine and decorates itself with them. For some reason, flowers won't wither once they're attached to a comfy. Aww. That's cute. Comfy is cute. Abra. Starting to go through these quick balls. <laughs> nice. Sai Pokemon. This Pokemon uses its psychic powers while it sleeps. The contents of Abra's dreams affect the powers that the Pokemon wields. Big snooze.
Big lazy snooze. Den down there. Oh, a diglet. D? 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 Diglet. That's an Alolan diglet. Nice. Oh, diglet, you're here. You little rascal. I was worried about you. Dig. Thank you for finding my diglet. Is that a diglet? Is it from Alola? Oh, I didn't expect to meet someone who knows about it. That's right, this is a diglet from the Alola region. When I travelled in Alola, I fell in love with these adorable three hairs. I caught a lot of diglet there and came back. But they went somewhere when I looked away for a second. <laughs> diglet! Anyway, you found a diglet buried in the ground. You definitely have a talent for finding diglet. If it's okay, will you find all the other diglet too? <laughs> oh, what a kind person you are. Words can't express how grateful I am. You found one diglet so far. Please find 150 more. <laughs> if you find them, please tell them to come back to me. 150. Okay, get some what's because what's ooh, ooh, there's a pokeball over there. Can't stop getting items. Ooh, sunstone. Bring, bring. Trio, trio, trio. <laughs> hey, Muck, how are ya? Diglet tuft hunting you up. <laughs> what was that? Oh, an Abra. Okay. Alright. Let's visit this den. Save in case they want to battle. Hello. Oh, fiddlesticks. So our new student decided to go back home? Seems that way, yep. I did my best to welcome her, but she just suddenly left after our battle. And I'd been hoping we'd get to welcome a new member to our little family here, too. Oh, hello. And who are you, love? Huh? Ah! <laughs> of course. You must be the new student that's supposed to join the dojo today. Sure. Right, 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 right. Exactly, ma'am. I swear. She must have changed her mind about joining the dojo. But... Oh, but here you are. I'm so happy you decided to come after all. Oh, everything's just coming up roses. Now, I'm quite sure they already told me your name, but... Mel. That's right, you're Mel. Of course you are, love. Though I'm rather sure that's not the name I was told before. My name's Honey. I help keep this place running. You can consider me the lady of the house. Not that the Master Dojo is just any old house. Oh, why? How? What does she think she's doing? Just showing up like that? This ain't good. Miss Honey will know that I lied. It seems you've already met our Clara. Clara? Bit of an odd ducklet, but she's one of our own. She's training hard here at the Dojo so she can become a gym leader someday. I can trust the two of you to get along, right? Eh, I'm, I'm sure we'll be best friends. Oh dear, but look at me. Here I am making you stand around outside after you've come all this way. Come in, come in. Don't mind the faint stench of sweat. Ew. Listen, you. If you dare tell Miss Honey about what happened at the station, I'll melt you down to size. You understand? I'm not scared of you. Over 150 are born to see to be a diglet finder is my destiny. 
Now I too can know the pain of only one Diglett remains in this zone. Oh no. <laughs> Diglett! Diglett dig! 17 more Diglets in the Field of Honor. Diglett! Diglett. Diglett. <gasps> Shiny. Shinies and Diglets. Like her Dust Ox bow. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. I, di I didn't realise it was a Dust Ox, but yeah. That's clever. Focus Blast. Kind of weird how they're giving me TRs here. Seeing as they're one use. Good music. Now let's go in the in the dojo first. Focus miss. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's some storylines to do. I'm not sure how long the storylines are. We'll just we shall see. Everybody, I have an announcement to make. We've got a new student joining us today. Please welcome Mel. I'm sure you'll all have lots to teach her. Yeah, welcome to the dojo. All our students are so good and hardworking. Everyone really gives it their all around here. Now, here's someone who's not listed in my database of students. Hello, sweetie pie. It's not usual for you to bother greeting a newcomer. This is Hyde. My darling only son. Are you some kind of outlier? Here, you should give this a try. I love how he's got earbuds in. <laughs> Listening to his phone. XP charm. A charm that increases the XP points that Pokemon get. Oh my god, I already get plenty of XP. <laughs> Even more now. But don't open it, okay? It's got tech I developed inside, and I don't want you to go and ruin it. He's so good with his hands, always making something new. Such a clever boy. And that handsome gent in the back is my darling hubby, and the very master of the master dojo. Why, hello there! My name is Mustard. I'm rather good at Pokemon battles, you know. I'm pleased it's cheese that you could join us. Nice hat. <laughs> Cheese to meet you. Ha <laughs> ha, I see you've got a sense of humour too. Good, good. Don't let him fool you into thinking he's just a silly old man. He's a real beast when he gets serious. Well, darling, I'll leave the rest up to you. Yay, this is my favourite part. I want to see just how good you are. So, why not have a battle with little old me? Just say the word when you're ready. Well, hello. The Master Dojo is a strange dojo, if you ask me. We have all sorts of odd training routines, like cleaning up or even taking naps. Sounds like a, a good dojo. Hey, Aaron, welcome. Good to see ya. Did I watch the Twilight Wings? Yes. Who who voiced him? Beat him up and steal his hat. <laughs> I know I'm not wearing the dojo uniform, but I'm a student too. They didn't have my size. Oh, Oh, we've got the cat alarm. Sung Won Cho. Oh, Pro ZD. Nice. Damn, yeah, he's amazing. I, I did not pick that voice at all. That's cool. Hello, sweetie. The cat alarm went off. Dun, 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 dun. Hang on, I'm going to turn off the noise gate. There we go. So that you can hear her meowing. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Uh, let's go to webcam. Hello, sweetie. Oh, come back. Come back. I didn't. I barely got to pat you. Oh. <laughs> I need something to. To reach out and touch her with. 
nothing. Now well. Oh, I'm going to go feed this cat. She is cute. Hang on, I'll turn my noise gate back on. There we go. Okay. Go to a break. I'll give you some more music from the DLC. I should save my game too. I haven't saved yet. There we go. And I shall be back soon. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Okay. Not here for pets, here for food. <laughs> yup. And she's gone now. Hard to tell for sure, just from the little glimpses we get here, but Cleo's behaviour reminds you a lot of your own cats. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. She's a very, um... She's a very adoring cat. Well, she doesn't really climb on your lap in the chair or anything. But she's... Steve is her favourite. She loves Steve. She just follows him around everywhere. Steve goes to bed, she follows him, sleeps on the bed. He gets up, she follows him. <laughs> she, oh, she, she's coat, so cute. I got an XP charm from Hyde too. Just keep it in your bag and it'll boost the XP points your Pokemon earn. A lot of people hear the word dojo and think of a strict, serious place. But the Master Dojo is a lot of fun. Miss Honey's food is excellent too. Where's this charm we got? Style card. Oh, okay, I was wondering if you could just turn it on and off, but no. Ah, oh, but I want to battle Master Mustard too. I'd very much like to see what your battle style is. You. You have the scent of a powerful trainer. Scent? Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. A quick recording of progress before a battle is the first step to a safe adventure. Yeah. I agree. The boss is a kind man. Don't be afraid to show him everything you got. A lot of people hear the word dojo and think of a strict, serious place. But the master dojo is a lot of fun. Miss Honey's food is excellent too. If there's anything you want to know about the dojo, don't hesitate to ask somebody else. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, look at these little food bowls for the Pokemon. Aw, oh, you cute. A note stuck to the fridge. These ingredients are for everyone's meals. No nicking food outside of mealtime. Honey. No nickets allowed? Some cookbooks. Alright, well is anyone going to heal my Pokemon or am I just going to... Oh, okay. Someone heal my Pokemon. Thank you. Good. Well, let's battle Master Mustard. Yahoo! Are you ready for a battle? Yes. Alright, let's get this show started. This is the best way to get to know new students. Dojo Master Mustard. I just can't wait to see you battle your heart out. Fire! Fire! Fake out. Don't do that. It's rude. Fire! I do kind of wish their levels scaled a little bit with me. <laughs> Jinx. 
<laughs> oh, looks like my little old self's been cornered. I'm getting the shivers. Oh. Yeah, you're not intimidating. You're cute, okay? Good music, though. Only two versions of the DLC, pre and post game. Ah, that's a shame. That was everything I hoped for and more. <laughs> I lost. You're pretty strong, aren't you? Hey, the newbie won. Master wasn't going all out, but that's still pretty impressive. Who is that kid anyway? The way you battle really shows me how much you care about your Pokemon. Even if you've come because of a misunderstanding, as long as you have a will to learn, then you're welcome at the Master Dojo. I think we can all help each other, become stronger. I'm happy you've come to join us. So on that note, here's your Dojo uniform. Thank you. <laughs> Did my hair up too. That's cool. With that on, you'll fit right in with the students of my master dojo. Hey newbie, if you want to change or just take a break, use that room over there. Ah, nice, thank you. Now then. With Mel here now, the dojo is at max capacity. It's time to really start our training. You'll all be facing three trials. Three trials? Wait, why is there a max capacity for this dojo? And there's more. The person who completes the three trials will receive the secret armor of this dojo. Oh, a secret set of armor. I want it. <laughs> That's the spirit. Pre, you think they're like level 10 or 15? Since you can head here directly from when you reach the wild area. Ah. Okay, might be fun to do it like on an, er on an early file too. Now let me explain the first trial. Oh but master you haven't given me my uniform yet. Why does that kid get a uniform but not me? It's not fair. Oh dear do you really not have a uniform? My bad my bad. That's easy to fix though. I have another uniform right here for you Kara. <laughs> the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Are you going to wear it, though? Huh? What was that? What? It's gone! Where'd my dojo uniform go? Huh? <laughs> that speed! Was it really these slowpoke? I've never seen any slowpoke move so fast! Hey, give it back! Give me my dojo uniform. I don't trust these slowpoke. They're plotting. Hey, get back here. Oops. Guess I let them out of their pokeballs a little too soon. <laughs> Master, what's up with those slowpoke? This is the first trial, my students. You've all got to chase after those fast slowpoke, trained with care by little old me. But that's not all. You need to defeat them too. And while you're at it, could you get Clara's dojo uniform back? Ah, oh, do we have to? Well, that's that. Do your best, you lot. No? <laughs> oh, a little scrafty running along. Oh. I appreciate that they asked me. Hmm. Let's still like this for a little bit. Face down those fast slowpoke.
Hop. See you at Motorstoke. Motorstoke. Takes a train to the Galarian equivalent of Ireland. <laughs> Just see you in like a year. The way they moved. Those aren't ordinary slowpoke. Maybe they wanted to wear the dojo uniform. Oh, I was hoping you could punch these. I know you might be feeling nervous, being new here and all, but don't you worry. All our students are good, through and through. They'll take care of you. Slowpoke are usually super zoned out, but that didn't stop the master from raising them to be super fast. Through these doors is the battle court. Sacred ground for battle and for valour. Entering for any reason other than battle is strictly forbidden. Ah, oh, I want to, um, steal stuff. Master Dojo student list. A bunch of people in Clara. Store my Pokemon. Fast poke. Unslow poke. <laughs> Speedy poke. The Kramer Medic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Perfect. Now it's sure to work. All that's left is to fire it up with the on button, so here we go, let's push it. Rip. Cripes, it powered down. Must still need more watts. Toy balls. Aw. That's cute. Medals from many different competitions are arranged nicely. The first trial is to chase down the three fast slowpoke. And while you're at it, it would be cool if you could get back the dojo uniform they stole. There are a lot of shiny gold trophies. Each one is polished and spotless. Oh, look at those snacks. I'm hungry. I want snacks. <laughs> oh dear, I can't see the telly if you're standing there. I didn't press A or anything, I just stood there. It's a game in which a lot of square Pokemon appear. Ah, that Pokemon Rumble thing. <laughs> Can't go through these doors unless under very specific circumstances or you're someone special. <laughs> Always strikes you as a murder mystery waiting to happen. <laughs> yes. There are strategy guides for a whole bunch of different games. Ooh. So, does my XP charm seem to be working as intended? What is this thing? Some sort of machine made out of junk parts to look like a Pokemon? You like it? Sure. Yeah, I thought you might be the type. That's my crammer matic And just to be clear, it's the invention of the century. It's my very own brilliant take on recycling. Though it doesn't do a thing right now since it's out of power. If I just had enough watts. But mummy won't give me any more of hers. All it would take is a measly 500 to get the Kremomatic up and running, you know? Seriously? You'll give it to me? It'd take me ages outdoors to collect 500. Really? And the outdoors and me... Well, uh, let's just say our systems aren't compatible. But you? Sorry, what was your name again? Mel? I guess you're more the outdoors type, huh? Sure. I'll feed those watts you gave me into the Kremer Medic at once, and power on. Hmm. <laughs> perfect, just perfect. Put in four items you don't need, and you'll get a new, a one new item in exchange. If you put in four of the apricorns that grow here on the Isle of Armor, then you might even get a rare Pokeball. If you're real lucky. Since you gave me the watts and all, feel free to use my Cremomatic as much as you like. Hmm. Want me to share one of my recipes with you? I can, it'll cost you 100. Oh. If you want TR50, add a sprig of mild mint, then a power lens, a sprig of brave mint, and a sprig of quiet mint. Wow, that's a lot of uh, things. <laughs> Not Pokemon Rumble, something on smartphones. Oh, okay. Shuffle? Yeah. Oh, yeah, not shuffle. 
Um, yeah, I don't remember the name of it. Quest? Pokemon Quest? Quick look at the tables for the career nomadic. Look at the complete ripoff. Aww. Learn more. Okay, it's just the same description. Quest? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that was the game, wasn't it? What can we throw in there? Let's get some more apricorns and then throw those in. The following reverse tatami from off they go god they're so fast <laughs> i love this shiny Oh, you can get a safari ball. Oh, nice. <gasps> Diglett! Demiglass. Okay. The Diglett said Demiglass. I don't know what that means. Expert built. Cool. Looking for... <gasps> Diglett! Diglett! Yeah, you can all have fun with a slow poke. I'm looking for Diglett. <laughs> Watcher, I'm your what trader. You want to get something? Yeah. I've got your fresh picked berries. I ran cherry chesto pitcher. I wonder if these change every day. Love to cook. You've come to the right place. I've got all the finest ingredients right here. Spice mix. Coconut milk. Yeah, I haven't used coconut milk. Get some of that. Bob's food tin. Spice mix. And non subs work on, work on here? Yeah, definitely. That was a bunny. I'm looking for diggies. Looking for diglet. So I didn't explore up here. <gasps> diglet. And shiny. Tracking down diglets is pretty fun. <laughs> Ah, oh, cute little bunny. It actually hops. That's cute. You seem to have an awesome bike. Let me customize it if you'd like. Oh, I'm a bike lady. I love bikes and bike maintenance. Customize your bike with the design that I came up with. Sure. Which design would you like to choose? Sparkling white. I'll polish your bike so that it will shine with sparkling white light. Whoa, that's very white. <laughs> Let's try the other one. Glistening black. That's alright. Kind of like the uh, the one I had before, though. Yeah. And does she have different outfits? Uh, no, same ones. 
Hi, Lewis. Welcome. How are you? Diglett. Diglett. Twelve more Diglett. The wetlands. Ooh. I've been running so long, my legs feel like they're gonna fall off. If I had a bike, it'd be so much easier to catch these fast slowpoke. <laughs> You'd think using a bike would be banned, but eh. Ooh. Hello. Charge me. <laughs> it did too. <laughs> Boofalant. Boofalant? Yeah. The Afro Buffalo. To weaken you. Giga impact. Wowza. Ouch. <laughs> a critical hit, you jerk. You jerk. Getting a crit on Giga impact. Oh, wait. You get in the ball, you jerk. Here we go. It only took nearly losing Lanky to a Giga Impact crit, <laughs> but we got it. Bash Buffalo Pokemon. These Pokemon can crush a car with no more than a headbutt. Boofalant with more hair on their heads hold higher positions within the herd. <laughs> That's silly, I love it. Alright, let's swap out Lanky for Donkey. Donkey. Hierarchy. <laughs> Cards exist in this world? Yeah, apparently. Apparently. No! Ah! <laughs> These things are jerks, apparently. <gasps> Quagsire! Hello. Everstone? Ooh, berries, berries, berries. Berries! Mm, keep going. Oh, fudge. <gasps> An applin! I already have a bunch of applin, though. <laughs> Looks like applin are easy to find in this place. Don't need one, though. Oh, bye bye, apricorn. Yeah! Oh, it's a fast slow poke. It actually is fast in battle. <laughs> it's outspeeding me. It's got a berry. How rude. It doesn't need to be faster. <laughs> oh, 
I got a dojo jacket back. Only two of the fast slowpoke left. Cool. Looking for diglets. Is that a diglet? No. Nope. Okay. I'm getting away from that bloody boofalant before it charges at me. Ah! <laughs> Going to bed. Have a good sleep, Aaron. Mustard must be feeding them select berries. <laughs> or just drug. Oh, you mean car bosses? <laughs> yes. Whoa! Yo, Jock. Yo, Jock. I just want me waltz. Piece of armor, I or hell yeah. Jeez, the diglets are very hard to find in this area. Licky, licky! I forgot you exist. Oh. <laughs> Why does this Pokemon exist? <laughs> Join me. Bye. Power whip. No, don't you go whipping me. I want nothing to do with that tongue. That's very creepy. Earthquake should do less damage, right? Because it's not stab. Logic. <laughs> Tried a belly drum. Scary thing. Oh, wait. Just throw another one. Tick. Critical catch. Mm. Don't make me mad. I'm gonna full swipe you, okay? You asked for it. Being a jerk. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bloody paralyze you, hey? Alright. I'm sick and ditty on you, okay? You're at one HP. Or close to it anyway. I'm gonna paralyze you. Would you like to stay in an Ultra Ball? Nice. That Licky Licky was a jerk. But now it's mine. Licking Pokemon. Licky Licky's strange tongue can stretch to many times the length of its body. No one has figured out how Licky Licky's tongue can stretch so far. Oh, 
I did not see that one. I was just walking around mashing the A button. Oh my gosh, they are hard to see here. Mashing the A button. Uh, a boofalant. Uh, I'm, I'm out of here. I don't want to fight. Hello? Oh my gosh. I saw the most awesome Pokemon ever. I can show you its awesome Pokedex entry for just 100 watts. Sure. Have a look then. Feast your eyes on its awesome splendor. <laughs> a horsey. Is that not completely, totally awesome? You'll find different Pokemon depending on the weather, so make sure to search every day. Yeah. I guess she just shows you something you haven't seen yet. So you can check for it in your Pokedex. Oh, a Lick Licky Duck. Not even a shiny one, yes. Have I made vroom noises for the Slowpokes yet? Ooh, I'm not sure. I shall have to make sure I do. Quick ball! Let's see if you're gonna be as big a jerk as your evolved buddy. Nice. They're adding seasons to Pokemon Go. Ah. I assume they're map map to uh, real world seasons. If this Pokemon's sticky saliva gets on you and you don't clean it off, an intense itch will set in. The itch won't go away either. What, you just itch forever? Ugh! It's horrible! Horrible! Diglett! <gasps> Eighteen more Diglett. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna need a guide for these ones. <clears throat> Again, Lonberry, what the hell is that? An apricorn! One small. Woo! Lots of yellow apricorns. Let's see what those become. Pokeball! A leek. One of the ingredients that can be used for cooking. Whether this is the kind of vegetable stalk that far-fetched like is unknown. Has anyone tried asking it? <laughs> Black sludge! I found some sludge. Rum. Oh, get back here. Rum. Remember when you had to get these to get different Pokeballs? Yes. Bam. Yeah, you turn. Come on. Thanks for following Joker Plays Games. <laughs> no worries, vroom noises are always fun to make. <laughs> Junkie. those slowpoke. I'll have to try with the next one. Uh oh? Took back Clara's dojo tee and dojo shorts. Okay, they've 
They've all got different parts of our outfit. Two thousand watts. Pro gunk. Smashing A. I'm finding lots of mushrooms, not finding any diglets. Hello, what's up here? I checked every nook and cranny of that cave, but I didn't find a single fast slowpoke. Alright, thank you. I won't bother going there yet. I really like the vibe of this, this nice marshland. Protein! Some drugs. So many what's. <gasps> diglet! I saw a diglet. Going well, thanks. How are you, Joker? If it were you, you'd collect Clara's whole set, dunk them into the swamp, and walk on them. <laughs> Shiny liquor tongue is golden. Huh. That's, not, that's not a bad shiny colour, actually. Alright. We looped around. That is shiny. Yes. So a shiny, but I can't be bothered going back for it. A lopani. Oh, hang on, I've got to deal with this slowpoke first. Rum. Let's try. Fast Slowpoke are the Master's Pokemon. You can't catch them. Okay, that makes sense. They already belong to someone. Oh, thank you. That's nice of you. Healing me up. And that's how I repay it. I'm pretty rude, apparently. Clara's dojo gloves and dojo legwear. Yay! I got her dojo uniform. Alright. I shall go talk to Master Mustard after I explore a little bit more. What's that? Dunsparce! A Pokemon I always forget exists. <laughs> There's a lot of strange one-off Pokemon in Gen 2. Critical catch! Land Snake. This Pokemon's tiny beings have some scientists saying that Dunsparce used to fly through the sky in ancient times. Hmm. So they, they could give it an evolution that actually flies. That'd be pretty cool. Won't forget it after I've been thunder waved and Serene Grace rock slide headbutt flinched to death by it. Oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, an item. T 
tier 26. Endure. More apricorns. Ooh, two reds. Nice. Another red one. Another red one. That thing is a bloody demon. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's the uh, fully evolved Barascuda thing. Gormir. Oh, it's got a kind of a scary roar, actually. Pokemon to catch. Skewer Pokemon. This Pokemon has a jaw that's as sharp as a spear and as strong as steel. Apparently, Barascooter's flesh is surprisingly tasty too. <laughs> Eating Pokemon. Highly possible same animation uh, for like swimming around. Maybe. I like I like the spinning on its tail though. Like a propeller. Alright, we can check out this area later. It's a new area. Eh! Jeez, they're fast. If you have a sweet unit, it would just run on the water. Really? That's cool. Oh yeah, I, I I can't have following Pokemon yet, can I? Wonder when that unlocks. More twigs. Forest of Focus. Oh, look at that Amoga. Cute. Oh. Jump again! Jump again! Ah! Oh, that's so cute! Ah! Oh, I'll come. I'll come here later, <laughs> or I will get sidetracked. Jeez, these diglers are hard to find. The legendary in this DLC. Uh, this is the the bear, the martial arts bear. Urshifu. Plot twist: Instead of triggering a battle, the boofalant knocks you off your bike, flying through the air, landing in the river. The screen then fades to black and the words wasted in red appears on the screen. <laughs> then you respawn in a hospital with less money and all your weapons taken. <laughs> oh, Grand Theft Pokemon. Alright, I think we've been here before. Yep. Did I ever catch you? I don't think I did. Kung Fu Panda? Yeah. It's funny because there's already a Kung Fu Panda Pokemon. It's, um... Um... Uh, God, what's it called? It's the Fighting Dark type. From Gen 6. This, this one's more of a... Sort of a grizzly bear. Pangoro, thank you. Yeah, I really like Pangoro. It's cool. Yes. 
Dopony. Dopony is constantly monitoring its surroundings. If danger approaches, this Pokemon responds with super destructive kicks. Sounds like it should have been part fighting, hey? Sexualized bunny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ooh. Almost missed that. The damp rock. Alright. Let's go to Master Mustard. Uh, that's good just to get our bearings. Okay, yeah, these are the two different towers. Yeah, you have to. You get the little bear and you, you pick which tower to train it at, and that decides what form it becomes. Yeah. At least it can't Mega. What was the Mega? What type was the Mega again? Did it become a uh, fighting type? Oh, Mel, welcome back. You. Don't tell me you got my uniform back all on your own. Yes, here you go. Normal fighting with Scrappy. Oh wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, well, uh, thanks. Well, Mustard Mill. You cleared the first trial like it was nothing. Why, I think this is the first time since Leon that someone was able to handle all three fast slowpoke on their own. The rest of you tried very hard too. You were able to catch up to the Slowpoke, but I guess you couldn't defeat them. <laughs> uh, tell you what, anyone who was able to catch up to a Slowpoke at least once gets a pass. Mel really outdid herself, so it's only fair everyone else gets another chance. Try to make a comeback, everybody. Oh, how generous. Oh, the way, I'm still out. Oh, that reminds me. Honey, where are those little ones? Oh, that's right, darling. I had nearly forgotten. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, come on in, sweeties. Oh, they're cute. They're cute. Boba. These are our sweet little Pokemon, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. We've all been taking care of them together. And I'd say they're more than a little curious about your strength as a trainer. Oh, I have to pick one. Why don't you pick one to keep for yourself? You did succeed in the trial, after all. And just so you know, these two have been raised in a very special way. When they evolve, they'll be able to Gigantamax. Ooh. Oh, man. Why do I have to choose? <laughs> they're both so cute. How do I choose? Why must I choose? I guess I guess I can get the other one with my shield playthrough. Alright, I'll, I'll go with Bulbasaur for now. Bye bye. You're going to go with our sweet Bulbasaur? It's first rate with grass type moves. Y yes. Bye bye. Cute. There is a plant seed on its back, right from the day this Pokemon is born. The seed slowly grows larger. Bulbasaur looks pleased as punch that you chose it. Remember that your new Pokemon will be able to Gigantamax once it is fully evolved, so be sure to raise it well. Dynamaxing, a mysterious phenomenon unique to Pokemon of Galar. And then there's Gigantamaxing, a very special way of Dynamaxing for very special Pokemon. Their moves change, of course, but their appearances change too. See, this needed to be explained during the actual playthrough. <laughs> the choice is easy, Squirtasaur. <laughs> ah, that'd be great. Speaking of Gigantamax, there's that secret recipe of the Master Dojo. Drinking it makes you gigantic and strong. I call it Max Soup. 
I'd love to have a bowl of Max soup full of Max mushrooms right about now. It sure has been a while. And that's why your second trial shall be mushroom picking. Max mushrooms are the key to Gigantamaxing, and I'm tasking you with finding three. Max mushrooms are red with a spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure they grow in dark, humid places. And with that, your next trial begins. I'm counting on ya. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Yeah. And don't you worry, Squirtle, I'll be sure to raise you with lots of love. I'll make you oh so strong, so you'll never lose to Bulbasaur. <laughs> Can I just have the Squirtle too? I want a Squirtle. Miss Honey, if you want that Pokemon to learn new moves, you can leave that to me. Well, aren't you just the sweetest thing? That lovely lad is always so kind. Give him a bit of Armorite ore and he'll teach your darling new Pokemon a new move. You should give it a try. Oh, thanks. Oh, nice. Venus toys. <laughs> oh, yes, Venus toys. I remember that. I think. That was the island of... That, that was the amusement park with the big robots. Wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, not sorry, but I haven't accepted you as the hotshot everyone else seems to think you are. You'd better think again if you think I'm going to let you finish this trial before me, mate. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, well, why don't you go for... And, and she did. She did go to find mushrooms. Good luck out there. Thinking about max mushrooms gets me hungry. Uh, I mean, I'll be here cheering for you. <laughs> hmm? I'll stay back and watch things from here. I failed the slowpoke trial after all. Aww. I wonder if Max mushrooms grow in the forest of focus. Or maybe in the cave just past the forest? We're going to be doing some training by ourselves. Alright, let's see where he can teach. Oh, I think he can teach Grassy Glide, can't he? I'm completely obsessed with moves. Under the supervision of my master, I've been developing new Pokemon moves day and night. I've spent a lot of time developing many moves. I'll teach your Pokemon a move for a small token of gratitude. Five pieces. <clears throat> oh, we can just see the list of moves. That's nice. Terrain Pulse. Burning Jealousy. Leaves all opposing Pokemon that have had their stats boosted during the turn with a burn. Flip turn. Rising voltage. Move power doubles when the target is on electric terrain. Mm. Grassy glide. This move always goes first on grassy terrain. Triple axle. Coaching. Properly coaches its ally Pokemon, boosting their attack and defense stats. Corrosive gas. Melts away all items they hold. Ooh. Scorching sands. Oh, a ground move. Ooh, should I teach that to Lanky? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Jewel wing beat. Spending force. Skitter smack. That's quite a name. <laughs> It was the lighthouse with a ghastly. Oh, yep, yep. I remember that. Yeah, it made all these illusions to scare people, didn't it? Definitely should have dunked her uniform in the swamp and had a cat pee on it. Yeah. Meteor Beam! Poltergeist. Attacks the target by controlling the target's item. <laughs> That's cool. Scale shot. Lash out. Steel Roller. Destroys terrain. That's cool. Misty Explosion. A fairy version of Explosion. Turning down my offer so firmly. That's a move that children are good at. What? Do I want to teach Grassy Glide the Donkey? He doesn't have the hidden ability yet, but I can teach it to him.
good. I don't think I need to be even more OP though. <laughs> I'm kind of a, a destroying everything, so. I'm gonna take good care of that cute little Squirtle. Raise your Bulbasaur well. Let's have a look at that Bulbasaur. Barbasaur. Saurus. If you breed a G-Max Pokemon, does the baby also have the G-Max thing? Wonder. Oh, hey, Rotom. I can just have Rotom change to all its different forms, can't I? I didn't have a Rotom before to try this out, but now I can. Rotom catalog. On Rotom. Which appliance would I like to order? <laughs> Light bulb? Is this the regular one? Yes. Change it to all of them for the Pokedex entries. Microwave! Can't breed down G-Max? Ah, that's a shame. Well, it's good they brought in the uh, the soup thing then. Washing machine. Got the fridge, electric fan. I love Rotom, by the way. They should bring in more Rotom forms. Rotom's great. And the lawn mower. Nice. And I'll leave it in its default form. Yeah. All right, back in the PC you go. that Charmander that Leon gave us? There it is. Oh yeah, that was a G-Max one as well. Nice. My boxes are a mess because I've been I've started removing things to put them in my uh, Living Pokedex. Oh, I'll sort them out later. They're half sorted at the moment. Alright, root them. Uh, sort. Whoop, wrong button. Sort. A to Z. Why is root them not in the Isle of Armor Pokedex? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, normal Pokedex. I caught the Rotom here, but alright. Rotom! Right. One boy's invention led to the development of many different machines that take advantage of Rotom's unique capabilities. Heat Rotom! This Rotom has possessed a convection microwave oven that uses a special motor. It has a flare for manipulating flames. Wash Rotom. This form of Rotom enjoys coming up with water-based pranks. Be careful with it if you don't want your room flooded. Ooh. So we haven't named it Noel. Oh, yes. I shall do that. Thank you. Read that one already. Fan Rotom. In this form, Rotom applies its new power over wind to its love of pranks. It will happily blow away any important documents it can find. <laughs> Mo Rotom. This is Rotom after it sees control of a lawn mower that has a special motor. As it mows down grass, it scatters the clippings everywhere. <laughs> Man, I love Rotom. It's such a good Pokemon. Look at all these forms. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's right, I need to go to a Poker Center to rename, don't I? Oh, I'll do that next time I'm in a Poker Center.
Your second trial is picking three Max Mushrooms. Max Mushrooms are red with a spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure they grow in dark, humid places. <laughs> what did he say? When I said no? Hmm, <laughs> you wouldn't get it anyway. <laughs> oh, little jerk. Alright. Let's go find some mushies. Uh oh. Hey, Mel. My bad, my bad. What? What's up? It just dawned on me that you're brand new to the Isle of Armor. I bet you have no idea where to even begin looking for max mushrooms. Come on, let's go for a walk and I'll show you some mushroom hotspots. Dum dum de dum la de da. He actually said that, by the way. <laughs> now, usually the forest of focus is chock full of mass of max mushrooms. But the thing is, a swarm of greedent came through and ate every last one here. So I'm thinking maybe you'll have more luck finding max mushrooms if you go check Warm Up Tunnel. It's out on the other side of the forest. Just watch where you're going in the forest, okay? It's easy to get lost. Anywho, good luck with the hunt for max mushrooms. Catch you back at the dojo. Thanks for teleporting me here. <gasps> Diglett! Well... Should I go to the cave? I'll go to the cave first, because that's where the mushrooms are going to be, apparently. <gasps> A rock ruff! Ruff ruff! Cute puppy! Discovered a puppy. Give it pets. Pokemon can bond very strongly with its trainer, but it also has a habit of biting. Raising a rock ruff for a long time can be challenging. Aww. Sounds like a bad behaved puppy. But also a good puppy, because all puppies are good. Ruler's Cave. Oh, I see. This is not the cave I'm supposed to go in. I'll catch you while I'm here, though. Oh my god, so many Pokemon. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll come back to this. <laughs> There's so much to do. So many Pokemon to catch. TM! Sorry, TR. Muddy Water. So that's why he left me at the forest. Oh, hi. <laughs> I ran over a tutel. It's understandably very upset. Looking for diglets. Alright, through the forest we go. Hello. Wanna fight? No, it's just doing its thing. Oh, look at the way it moves. That's cool. Fight me. It's only himself to blame for spawning inside me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Little jerk. Dun, 
Mushroom. This Pokemon's puffs. This Pokemon puffs poisonous spores at its foes. If the spores aren't washed off quickly, they'll grow into mushrooms wherever they land. Ugh. Ew. Ew. It's creepy. Oh yeah, I was going to see what those apricorns turned into. So much to do! Emolga! Hello! Oh, you're cute! You're a little cutie! Yeah, you're a little cutie! Critical! Nice! Always remember Imolga as the Vault Switch assholes. <laughs> Sky Squirrel. As Imolga flutters through the air, it crackles with electricity. This Pokemon is cute, but it can cause a lot of trouble. <laughs> there you go. Is Buck still here or have they already passed out? Hmm, good question. <laughs> Think of it! Dig it, dig. Hello, what do you want? Hello, people call me Digging Ma. Have you met Digging Pa? He's my partner. I enjoy digging and the thrill of digging with my lovely shovel. It's my digging friend. I feel like giving you a piece of armor I ought to commemorate our meeting. But no, I'll give you a chance to choose. You could receive the armor I ought. Or you could use it as payment to have me dig to see if I can find even more Armorite ore. Ooh, this sounds like gambling. However, if my lovely shovel breaks while I'm digging, you won't get anything. I do need to ask you to quickly save your progress first. If, if you are seeking some thrills, why not try your luck? Okay, yeah, this is like the digging duo, but you actually have to choose when to stop. <laughs> Let's do it. Digging always comes with risks. It's unavoidable. Brace yourself. Here I go! <laughs> she hit a hard rock and her lovely shovel broke. She scammed me! The armor I all you're supposed to get is gone. Such is life. Anyway, see you again somewhere. Wow. <laughs> she sucks. I mean, if you want to dig... Why not use a Pokemon? There's tons of Pokemon that are good at digging instead of using a shovel that breaks immediately. Ooh, apricorns! Lots of apricorns, yeah, I'll keep those things. Remind me to use those in the Cramomatic. See what we get. Oh my god. Oh, you're the uh, person who wants to show me an entry? Eh, uh, sure, why not? What you got this time? Sigh. Sigh, aye. She showed me a sigh. Sigh. I don't think there are any max mushrooms this way. I need to hone my sense of direction. Oh, hey, Emo Emolga. I almost didn't see you there. Oh my god, the Emolgas. I love them. What's this? Can't see it. Oh, Vinipede. Critical capture. <laughs> Centipede Pokemon. Venipede and Sizzlipede are similar species, but when the two meet, a huge fight ensues. 
Oh. Oh, I should not introduce you to Lanky then. Can't imagine Lanky being all savage like that though. A boy shark. I think I have one of those. Another yellow. Nice. Looking for the eaglets. There's one. Dig, dig. <laughs> you again? Sure. What you got this time? Mill tank. Mow. Cool. Where you get mill tank? Mill tank. Over here. Lanky will roast it for barbecue and then die from food poisoning. <laughs> you know, they haven't done the thing yet where a Moongus pretends to be a Pokeball. Like Voltorb used to do. Goodies. Save. Maybe they haven't done it because a Mungus can't explode. Oh, they can't? Oh, that's a shame. Oi, you get in the bolt. Get in the bolt. Grassy terrain. Now you get healing, you jerk. That was a critical. <laughs> They should introduce a stronger false swipe. That would be awesome. Should have taught him Grassy Glide, yes. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, even more healing? Stop. Stop. So much healing. What's next? Leech Seed? We can't Leech Seed, you know. I'm grass type, but still. Ultra Ball! Oh my god. It's that thing in Pokemon when there's a ton of uh, 
in turn effects to go off one by one. Tickle. No, no tickle. I need to swap Pokemon just to weaken this thing. Okay, the grassy terrain went away. That's good. Oh, nice. Nice crit. Pick one company doesn't believe in quality of life. No, there is plenty of quality of life. But, yeah, they haven't done that to... <laughs> to end of turn stuff yet, have they? <laughs> and multi-hit moves. Multi-hit moves are annoying. Oh my god. Like, remember when to throw a Pokeball, you had to go into your bag and then go to the Pokeball slot every time? <laughs> Oi. I remember. Oh my god. Well, Game Freak does. Not so sure about the Pokemon Company. Yeah, actually that's true. Yeah, they are separate. Maybe I should paralyze you. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep throwing balls. It'll work eventually, right? Bum, 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 bum. If this doesn't work, I will swap, I'll paralyze it, then I'll bring Donkey back in, which will reset his attack. Oh my god, alright. Let's let's do this. God, and grain never wears off, does it? It just keeps going. Duh. Do, 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 do. All I wanted was a tangler. All I wanted was a tangler. Uh-huh. See how much damage we can do with the uh, overdrive. Because poison jab will definitely kill it. Why did that kill it? <laughs> Why did that kill it? Oh. Sad. Oh well. Is Overdrive special? Because Donkey did like nothing with uh, his resisted move. Okay, it must have very low special defense. Okay. Well. There will be another Tangler. There will be. Oh hi, it's uh, one, one, of, one of you. You know, that thing. I forget what it's called. Pretty sure I have it though. Hello. I don't have you. Scolopede. Quick ball. Quick, get in the ball. That's how I want captures to go. <laughs> Throw the ball, I catch. Megapede Pokemon. Scolopede latches onto its prey with the claws on its neck. 
before slamming them into the ground and jabbing them with its claws toxic spikes. Ugh. Diglets, diglets, diglets. Hey, do we want to do this again? Sure. Maybe we'll get it with the quick ball this time. Again. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> Turn one in grain. I'm out. <laughs> See ya. Checking for diglets. These cute little diglets. Last, I've gotten disoriented. Warm up tunnel isn't this way. Hmm, I'm kind of lost too, actually, to be honest. Pika! Hello, Pika. Looking for diglets? Have you seen a diglet? Lots of vapor horns. I'll keep those things. Alright, where does this lead? I'm a little bit lost. Only a little bit though, don't worry. Ah, oh, the little baby one. Fungus. Wish you could find money in random holes. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> nice. No one knows what the Pokeball-like pattern on Fungus means, or why Fungus has it. Diglet, diglet, diglet. Okay, so this was where. Wait, what? What just? What just happened? Oh, okay. That goes around that way. Interesting. Yeah, over the bridge. Thought I heard a cat. I did not. Diglett. Fungus is an imposter? <laughs> Probably. Oop. More. More. Mm, once more. No. Nah. Mm, I'm out. Um, hello. And who are you? If I brought back fungus instead of max mushrooms, do you think they'd notice? <laughs> yes. A little bit. <gasps> Diglet. Diglet ya. Yeah. That's what it said. The Diglet said Diglet ya. Yeah. Training lowlands. Okay. Ah. 
Are you getting there? Hello. Let's move back. I forget if I have you. I might as well check. Swoobat's pretty cute, actually. I like Swoobat. Oh, I don't have you. I thought I did. Apparently not. Click. <laughs> Critical catch. Excellent. Excellent. Porting Pokemon. Emitting powerful sound waves tires it out. Afterward, it won't be able to fly for a little while. Aww. Okay. There's so much to explore. Hey, a mill tank. Also a diglet. Moo. Ah, drinking. Nice. <laughs> No. Jerk. Uh. <laughs> Cow attack. Drum beating probably won't kill it, right? Uh-huh. It missed with play rough. High horsepower. You're not a horse, you're a cow, okay? Now don't use don't use a heal, don't heal. Critical. Surely that one will have it. Yay, nice. Got a new tank. <laughs> milk tank produces highly nutritious milk, so it's been supporting the lives of people and other Pokemon since ancient times. Oh, hey, and there's a there was a Taurus. Oh, hello, a lily pup. Thanks for the following, NBZ. Little puppy, little puppy. There's a lot of puppies around here. Good night, Rose. Thanks for hanging out, puppy. Critical catch. So much stuff to catch. I'll find those mushrooms eventually, okay? <laughs> this Pokemon is courageous but also cautious. It uses a soft fur covering its face to collect information about its surroundings. Another puppy? Oh, thank you very much for the raid, NBZ. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. We're checking out the DLC for Pokemon Sword. We're on the Isle of Armor. And I'm getting sidetracked trying to catch everything. <laughs> Good, thanks, NBZ. How are you? You were playing Alien Isolation. Ooh. I can't I can't handle horror games. How'd that go for you? 
I hear that's a really good one. Good. You can't handle horror games either. That's why people want you to play it. Or oh. I hope it, I hope it wasn't too bad for you. When Taurus begins whipping itself with its tails, it's a warning that the Pokemon is about to charge with astounding speed. Nice. Collecting Pokemon. Hey, Eliwink. Pokemon time, much calmer. <laughs> yes. Yes, if you just came from Alien. Oh, hey, this cow is trying to attack me. Oh, hey. A Melamar. I don't have one of you yet. Yeah, if you just came from a horror game, this is going to be way more low-key and relaxed. I'm just throwing Pokeballs at stuff. Critical catch. It's a very relaxing game. Pokemon's such a good just chill-out game. Overturning Pokemon. Gazing at its luminescent spots will quickly induce a hypnotic state, putting the observer under Melamar's control. Ooh. That's horrifying. Just a little bit horrifying. Diglet. We're trying to find Diglets as well, because it's something to collect. I collect things. What was that? Oh, hey, I um, forget what they're called. Oh, look at it swimming. Aww. Core fish, that's it. Oh yes, yeah, my team's named after... Oh, I've already got this one. My team's named after Donkey Kong 64 characters. <laughs> so welcome, Sasuraika. I have to head to bed, but you hope the rest of my stream goes well? Ah, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, we've got uh, Donkey Kong, the Rillaboom. Got Lanky, the Center Scorch. Chunky, the Scrafty. Diddy, the Toxtric Toxtricity. Uh, Tiny, the Dreadnought. And then we've got Dixie from uh, DKC 2 and 3. Rapidash. Galarian Rapidash. Yeah, pretty solid team. They've done really well for me. Yeah, collecting things is therapeutic for us completionists. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a completionist. I love collecting all the things, catch all the Pokemon. Thanks for following, Ellie Week. Collect shinies. <gasps> Diglett. I have to go talk to the Diglett person and get some rewards, actually. What's over here? Oh. Oh, secret. Calm mind. Ooh, an evolved one. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it threatened me. Diglet dig, diglet dig, yell. Tree, a tree, a tree, a. Nice. I'm supposed to be doing something. <laughs> I'm supposed to be finding mushrooms for this guy, but uh, I got a bit sidetracked because there's just so many Pokemon to catch. Rogue Pokemon. A rough customer that wildly flails its giant claws. It is said to be extremely hard to raise. Alright. Got a little island here. Dig it. Any diglets here? I don't think there's any. 
get some berries. Mm, once more. Sure. Yeah, if you shake the trees too much, a Pokemon attacks you and you lose a lot of the berries. Oh, ah, this leads out to the sea. Right, well, I'm not ready to explore that yet. Let's finish in this area. Diglett! I rode right over it. Hello. I star you! Oh, look at the way it walks around. Hello. Not quite sure what to make of me. I had like 50 or so quick balls when I came here. <laughs> I'm gonna need to buy some more. Star-shaped Pokemon. If you visit a beach at the end of summer, you'll be able to see groups of Staryu lighting up in a steady rhythm. Alright, let's check the beach for Diglets. Don't see any here. I want that. Kingler, hey, 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 why are you so fast? I've already got a Kingler, so I don't want you. Collect some what's. What's did you say? Uh, a currency you spend on. All kinds of stuff, actually. Hey, a pincer. Hello. Yeah, this is the first DLC area. There's two for this game now. Oh, superpower. It. Does bug resist ground? Let's find out. It does. Still did a lot of damage though. Guillotine! Thankfully you can't use that because <laughs> we're higher level. It's still tried though, the jerk. Am I planning on getting DMC5 SE? Uh, I'm not getting a new console anytime soon, so I'll be getting the Virgil DLC for the PC version. So I'm looking forward to when that DLC comes out, because he looks fun to play. Oi, get the ball, you jerk. Donkey! In the bowl. No, you jerk. What a jerk. Well, that just means you're getting paralyzed. By Diddy. Diddy's a rocker. <laughs> Actually, I have net balls, don't I? Yeah, I do. They're good against bug types. I should be using these more often. We haven't beaten five yet, but I'm excited for Virgil. Nice. Yeah, he looks so fun to play. It's like all the bits, all the best versions, uh, all the best parts of his uh, three and four incarnations together. Yeah, I'm really excited to try him in five. Stag Beetle Pokemon. 
These Pokemon judge one another based on pincers. Thicker, more impressive pincers make for more popularity with the opposite gender. <laughs> we could say some things about that, but we're not gonna. <laughs> oh, hey, a um, Carablast. Is that what you're called? Yeah, Carablast. Don't know if I've got one of those in my boxes. I did have one at one point. I'll grab it if I can. Yeah, I love DMC5. It's my favourite of the series so far. So good. Okay, Ooh, get some whats. Kangaskhan, hello! Oh, little puppy coming to, coming to greet me. Oh, you're cute! Oh. <laughs> it's nice seeing that a lot of Pokemon are just chill in the wild. Occasionally there's one that's a jerk. Like the Bufalant. That buffalo that just charges at you. But a lot of them are just chill. They just hang around doing their thing. They don't really want to be uh, bothered. Still adjusting to playing V, but you'll, you've enjoyed it thoroughly? Ah, that's good. I'm glad you're liking it. Yeah, V is very different, but uh, I like him. I enjoy his playstyle. Kangas Chungus. <laughs> they are pretty tall, aren't they? They can't be bothered to bother you. Yep. <laughs> They're just hanging around. Levels! Poor Donkey Kong needs to be revived though. Parent Pokemon. Although it's carrying its baby in a pouch on its belly, Kangaskhan is swift on its feet and intimidates its Pokemon, uh, its opponents with quick jabs. Puppy. Yeah. Rough. Yes, yeah, still cute. Alright. I think I have you, so I'll just ignore you. Diglet. Diglet. You know what? Let's just resurrect or revive Donkey Kong. I think I have a ton of items I've just never used. Hang on, let's go through all these. So they're not new anymore. Okay. Medicine revived. Wakey wakey. And I think I have a ton of. Yeah, I've got a ton of these hyper potions. Yay, he's back. He's back again and about time too. And this time, he's in the mood. Ah. Ooh, what do we got here? Um, little grass thing. <laughs> uh, it, it really couldn't be bothered. Oi, oi, we don't get too many trainers out in these parts. They call me Digging Pa. You've met the Digging Duo? Well, they'd be my sons. Haven't got any armor I or have you? You know, it's that rare type of rock the Isle of Armor's known for. If you just give us a few pieces of that ore, I'll put these fine old muscles straight to work, digging you up loads of watts. You know what? Our meeting feels like a real stroke of luck. If you like, I'll dig you up some watts for free to mark the occasion. Oh, sure. 
free sounds good. I like free. Digging Mars, his son? No, that uh, the digging duo from uh, from the main area, from the main game. Two thousand watts, nice. Two thousand watts. That's a lot of watts. Should I tell him to stop, or? <laughs> Thanks for eighteen thousand watts. Warm up tunnel, here we go. This is where the mushrooms are supposed to be. Oh, make that sand true! Yeah, I, th I think Digging Ma said that uh, Digging Pa what was her husband, so they're married. Sand true! You're a cute little devil. Honey is a really big watt sink though. Gonna need them watts. Ah, okay. Intru. It loves to bathe in the grit of dry, sandy areas. By sand bathing, the Pokemon rids itself of dirt and moisture clinging to its body. Wait. By sand bathing, it rids itself of dirt? Ah. Ah. <gasps> Cubone! Cubone. You're so small. So small and cute. Click. Lonely Pokemon. When the memory of its departed mother brings it to tears, it cries. Its cries echo mournfully within the skull it wears on its head. Ah, Cubone's Pokedex entries are always so sad. Poor thing. <gasps> Diglett, you sneaky little thing, trying to hide there. Oh, I see another one back there too. Diglett, 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 dig, dig, Diglett, dig. Hey, it's a uh, turtle thing. Where'd you go? Oh, there was a turtle thing. It's gone now. Stealth rock. Hmm. One more diglet here, eh? Must be a small area. Aha! Turtle, do I have you? Torkoal. That's a strange cry. <laughs> Sound like a dude going, mm. oh, I've got it. Okay. Bye. Looking for that one little diglet. Mushroom! Some wild max mushrooms. Yes, pick them. Hold up a sec. Uh oh. Gonna have to battle someone. Oh no! It's her. Hello? What's this? Three max mushrooms in one spot? Here I thought I'd need to go find them one by one. I saw those mushrooms first, I swear. I've been at the dojo longer and all, so... It's only fair that you let me have them, right? No. Yeah, yeah, I figured that's what you'd say. Gosh, you're a pain in the neck. You just show up out of nowhere and just happen to be young and talented. If you're looking to get in my way, well, I think some vile poisons will take care of that. Slowpoke. Yeah, I wonder what, what happens if you say you'll hand him over. <laughs> Let's set the record straight here. I'll show you once and for all that I'm the better trainer. Nah. Oop. 
looks like at seven to you. What's what was that seven? Sorry. Ooh, look at that! My attack worked just great. Now get ready for another dose. She seems more bearable than the Avery twat that was in your game. <laughs> Oh, the mushrooms. Yeah, there was a whole bunch there, wasn't there? We can share. Whirlipede. Let's use fire. Yeah, thank you. Oh fine, hit us with our weakness. What are you, a super effective move machine? <laughs> Coffee! Dixie! Am I really gonna lose again? Is there just something wrong with me? Mate, I'm the new champion. Have you not been paying attention? I really like her music. Have you got that I don't? Levels. <laughs> oh, why can't I win? I'm trying as hard as I can. What am I missing? Fine, you can have those silly mushrooms. I'm going to find better ones anyway. So there, yeah. <laughs> I just put them all in my bag. <laughs> Mushrooms that have the power of changing Dynamax forms. They boost all stats for Pokemon during battle. Boop, boop. Hello? Hello? Is this Mel's phone? How's the trial coming along, love? Easy peasy. You mean you've already managed to find three Bex mushrooms? I've been checking in on everybody's progress, but it seems you're in first place once again. You really are our new rising star, aren't you? I suppose I'd better go put the pot on the stove. But you be careful on your way back. Ciao! Good. I was hoping they weren't going to teleport me back because I want to find that last diglet. She's the type of person who only watches TV if she's on it. <laughs> Good point. Diglet. <gasps> diglet. Fancy. Trade you the max mushrooms for your bow. <laughs> yes, her bow is great. Hot bottom desert. Found a desert. Diglet. Nine more in the desert. So many places to ah oh, sand isle. I must have it. Hello, you little cutie. Oh, you're a little cute little crocodile. Pay attention to me. Join me. Hope routes in future games are like this. Yeah. Yeah, I hope I hope the next game they make is just this entirely. Oh, it's so good. I love it.
That human is being weird. I'm gonna go keep looking in the sand. Oh god, she's gonna fight me. <laughs> Cute. Desert Croc Pokemon. The desert gets cold at night, so when the sun sets, this Pokemon burrows deep into the sand and sleeps until sunrise. Alright, let's go buy some more quick balls. Which... Ooh! They were here? No, not, not there. Here. Winden. Heal. Can't you buy any type of Pokeball anywhere like in previous games? Uh, the special ones are only in certain towns. Okay, you can get uh, Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball anywhere, but the uh, the special types are town specific. Yeah, quick ball. Gotta get a bunch of them. Fifty. Thank you. Actually, how many Ultra Balls did I have? I probably should buy more of them too. 33. Yeah, let's buy more of them. Yeah, I think... Were they town-specific in previous games too? I forget. So I'm going to rename this Charmander while I'm here. There's this little Charmander. There you are. Gonna name it Noel. Leon backwards. Yeah. Good name. I like it. Okay. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Don't pay much attention to the special ball types, just go with the standard three. Ah, yep. Yeah, the, the standard three do work fine. Uh, quick balls and dust balls are mm, so good. Alright. Let's go. Let's go to the um the Diglet dude. See what little rewards we get for what we've found so far. Hello, what you got for me? Oh, hello. Thanks to you, 24 more Diglett came back to me. You found 25 Diglett so far, so please find 126 more Diglett. <laughs> the number of Diglett that came back hit 5, so I'd like to give this Pokemon to you. I met this Pokemon in Alola, just like my Diglett. Oh, Alolan Meowth. Thanks. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Slowpoke. A Kanto Slowpoke. Oh wait, I I have twenty as well, don't I? Vulpix. The standard three for you are Premier Ball, Premier Ball, and Premier Ball. <laughs> oh, cute. Give me all the diglets. <laughs> 30, okay. Alright. Save. Huh? 
Hey there, no. Welcome back. Looks like you nailed the trial. Congrats on finding the max mushrooms. Trial number two was no problem for you. All my other students ended up getting lost in the forest. Aww. Turns out finding max mushrooms was the least of their problems. It's a shame, but I guess everyone other than Mel will fail the trial. Aww. Well, first things first, a proper meal. Let's have the max mushrooms made into a delicious max soup, shall we? Mmm, soup. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I've really outdone myself this time. Now all that's left to add are those lovely max mushrooms you brought us. Miss Honey, please wait. Why, Clara? What in the world has gotten into you? I've never seen you in such a flutter. I I've got some max mushrooms too. Oh, nice work, Clara. You must have searched hard for those. That makes you the second person to pass the second trial. Wow, I did it! I did it! Aww. Aw, chin up, darling Clara. You did it. This is a cause for celebration. Master, Miss Honey, please, can I ask for something just this once? Uh oh. A flutter. <laughs> Catching a Palkia in a Premier Ball will always be a highlight. Oh, you did that? Nice. Congrats. I want you to use my Max Mushrooms in the Max Soup. I really want to share my hard work with everybody here. Oh, Clara. Well, if that's all you're after, then I'm perfectly happy to oblige. Though this is hardly the first time you've asked for something, and I rather doubt it'll be the last. <laughs> Miss Honey? I hope you don't feel that your thunder's being stolen, Mel. But we're a family here, and families share. So, we'll go ahead and use Clara's mushrooms today. It's just so rare for her to try hard at something. I really want to reward that. You understand, don't you? You could hold on to the max mushrooms you found. I'm sure you'll find a good use for them. Oh, and don't worry, you still totally passed the trial with flying colours. Think of those max mushrooms as an extra reward. <laughs> it's got the, the Dynamax uh, cloud floating over it, that's great. Alright everybody, soup's on! The famous Max Soup of the Master Dojo. Well, I'm famished. Time to dig in. Let's eat. You enjoyed the Max Soup. Where are these Max Mushrooms? Oh, I guess they're in the soup now. Oh, I never did explain the big deal about this soup, did I? You see, when one drinks this dojo's famous Max Soup, you feel Dynamax energy welling up from inside you. <gasps> Can I Dynamax? No, you don't. That kind of thing doesn't happen if a human has the soup. <laughs> what? <laughs> but things are a bit different when certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see, there are some Pokemon that have distinct potential. And when they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into a Gigantamax form. I'll keep one of our lads in the kitchen on soup duty from now on too. So you can ask him to serve up a fresh bowl of max soup whenever you need. Now then, let's wrap things up. You all did your best on the second trial and I'm proud of everyone here. And last but not least, thanks for the soup, honey. Thanks for the soup, Miss Honey. <laughs> I really like this game's sense of humour. By the way, Mel, meet me in my room when you have a moment. Only two completed the trial, Clara and you. I hear the footsteps of an approaching showdown. You just joined the dojo and yet you've already completed two of the trials. I expect nothing less from a talent that Clara brought into the fold. That Max suit was something else. I spent the whole time being chased around the forest to focus by a venipede. <laughs> Hello. Soup. Do you want to give your Pokemon Max Soup? Tell me about it. Pokemon that can drink Max Soup. 
If you want to know the Pokemon that have the potential to Gigantamax, my apologies, but please read the book on the shelf. No, yeah, fine. Pokemon that have the potential to Gigantamax can drink max soup. Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Rillaboom, Cinderace, Inteleon, Butterfree, Pikachu, Meowth, Marchamp, Gengar, Lapras, Eevee, Snorlax, Garbodor, Dreadnor. Oh, that's right, I forgot Dreadnor has one. Corviknight, Toxtricity, Alcremi, Duraludon, Orbeetle, Colossal, Sandaconda, Grimmsnarl, Flapple, Appleton, Hatterene. Copperaja, Kingler, and Center Scorch. Last but not least, the Master Dojo's secret. Oh, this book is unfinished. <laughs> it's the uh, the new legendary. Urshifu. Congratulations on completing the trial. Chasing after Slowpoke and then hunting down mushrooms. What could the final trial be? Master summoned you, right? You should go see what he wants. I'm glad I wasn't selected for soup, Judy. Having us compete and fight over the limited number of max mushrooms. The trial's pretty brutal when you stop and think about it. I hear something amazing happens if you feed a cluster of max mushrooms to a Pokemon during a battle. During a battle? You're the uh, move tutor? Yeah. Do I actually have max mushrooms? Oh. Oh, they boost all stats. Okay. So they don't actually make you Dynamax, they just boost stats. Okay. I was wondering if they made you Dynamax whenever you wanted. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Don't worry, the kid on soup duty knows what he's doing. I made sure I taught him well. Alright, let's go see what he wants. Save. Hmm? Did the master call for you too? Oh right, we're gonna use the Kramomatic, hey? Let's use that. See what we get with these apricorns. Which ones do we want to use? Let's use some yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yes, what do we get? Have to save real quick so you can't save Scummit. <laughs> An Ultra Ball. Cool. You're lacking one or more items. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doesn't seem worth it if you don't look up the recipes. TV's off. There you are, Mel, Clara. Thanks for coming. So, what's this all about, Master? What did you want to tell us? Right, well, I've decided that you two will now take the Master Dojo's final, last, ultimate, third trial. The final, last, ultimate, third trial? <laughs> final, last, ultimate, third trial, what's that? Final? Uh, so basically this is the last trial? Uh, well, yes, that's the gist of it. You two are the only ones who successfully finished the second trial. You've pushed each other to greater heights and helped each other grow. So I'd say it's time to finally see who's stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. We're going to battle? That's the last trial? Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it. Finally. But can I... The battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot, so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. I I've got to get going! 
I need to go there right away to prepare my pure heart for this. I'm going on ahead, okay? You can laze about like a slowpoke and take as much time as you need. shenanigans she's gonna pull yeah I don't trust her at all Clara she's got talent that's for sure but it's caused her to slack off she's never felt the need to try hard at anything I guess even with her training here at the dojo I can tell she's been doing just the bare minimum but things have changed since you arrived Mel maybe you've helped awaken some sort of passion and drive in her eh? still I only hope that motivation isn't put toward anything mischievous Remember, head to the battle court behind the dojo when you're ready. In battles, there's always a winner, which means there's always got to be a loser too. Oh, sorry, don't mind me, just talking to myself. Fellow students settling their rivalry in a battle. Which side should I cheer on? Good luck on your last trial. Everyone will be cheering you on. Eh. A battle with Clara. You should stay on your guard. The battle court is through the door in the dojo. Yep, thank you. Only one more trial and you'll get the secret armor. A one on one battle with Clara? How exciting! Finally, time for a proper battle. If we'd been doing this kind of training from the start, I would have made it to the final trial. Sure, you would have, mate. Clara seems positively bursting with energy, doesn't she? We should, uh... Let's... Let's, let's get G-Max Donkey. Preset the place with psychic terrain. Oh, is there a poison terrain? No, there isn't actually. Ah, interesting. We'll have to see what she does. Wait, there's a G-Max Corviknight? Donkey! Yes! Yeah. Clara is waiting for you on the battle court. Don't hold back. Now, should I talk to those two kids? I did not. This is my chance to see Dynamax Pokemon up close. Clara ran toward the battle court like she had something really important to do. Hmm. I've got an idea of what she might do. She might uh, put down toxic spikes. You should get around to buying this at some point. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll G-Max with Donkey. Any Diglets here? You're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor. And then I'll become a poison type gym leader. I've got to win, no matter what. I'm gonna go all out and totally beat you. You ready? Yes. Looks like the two of you are ready. Good luck. I'm cheering for both of you. Alright, you two, take your places. The 
Master Dojo's final trial. Ready. Oh. And go. Oh, that was a good battle transition. Scorpy. Not even fully evolved. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong's not exactly going to be good against poison. I'm not holding a single thing back anymore. Time to settle this. Fair and square. Oh, and maybe watch your step. Looks like some toxic spikes somehow got on the battle court. <laughs> yep. What a jerk. Yeah, I don't really get to use Do uh, Donkey's G-Max. What is his G-Max move? G-Max Drum Solo. Ah, ignores abilities. Hmm. Let's, let's make him um, D-Max anyway, just so you can all see it. It's a really good G-Max form. <laughs> It's a whole drum kit. <laughs> it's so silly, I love it. Aha, that's right. Let my poison drive you crazy. Back strike. The poison. It hurts. I mean, this is going to be double resisted, but yeah, let's just look at what it looks like. That still did a lot of damage. Where's the guitar, the trombone? The DK crew is not impressed. <laughs> Well, see, Diddy brings the, the guitar, and Lanky brings the trombone. <laughs> Alright, let's, well, let's U-turn him, actually. No turn! Lanky! Why is her music so good? Sorry my dear Pokemon, I should have given better directions. But hang in there, you've got this. Aww. Weezing. This is just Kanto wheezing, right? Uh, it's probably levitating though. Eh. You've got this immediately faint <laughs> Oh, she's immune to poison. Oh, it, it is a. Uh, it was the. Um, Galarian wheezing. Okay, did not expect that. Yeah, 
Yeah, Dixie's immune to getting poisoned. Not immune to poison attacks, but the poison status. So she doesn't have to worry about the spikes, so that's cool. There's no way I'm losing. I ain't letting go till the bitter end. Galarian Slowbro. Yeah. I love it. It's, just, it's got a Mega Man arm cannon. Um, I think it's Psychic Poison? Quick draw. Make the opposing Slowbro move faster. Watch out, audience. One dose of Clara Poison and there's no turning back. Oh, here she goes. They say the dose makes the poison, so have seconds. Here's a full course feast of venom. Dixie! Oh, she survived. Slowbro became Nero. Special attack is going up. That's a little worrisome. Just a little bit. That's quick. No, stop going faster. Yeah. That hurt. That battlefield got weird. Yeah. I didn't hold back. I gave it everything I've got. The victor has been decided. The one to complete the third trial is you, Mel. Hooray! That was amazing. What a fierce battle. Oh, well done. You both gave it your all. Uh, let's not step on these toxic spikes. <laughs> Oh man, I totally lost. Huh, well this stinks. I do everything, even cheat a little, and still lose. Don't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but... Uh, I really was trying, you know? As hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. Mel, you can tell the master that I cheated. Okay. <laughs> I won't if you give me that bow. Yeah, you can have a second chance. Huh? But, but why? It was supposed to be a fair battle and I cheated just so I could win. That's your strength, Mel. Kindness toward both your Pokemon and your rivals. Oh, he, he knew anyway. <laughs> but Master? I should apologise on Clara's behalf, too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but she just didn't want to be beaten by her rival, that's all. She's a good, hard-working student. Master, thank you. I'm sorry, Mel. As for your punishment, Clara, you're going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months. By yourself. What? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? 
Of course, let's work on strengthening your heart. Uh, okay. All right, everyone, things are settled here. I'm so proud of you both. You mustered so much effort and tried so hard. I got so teared up that I couldn't even see half the battle. But what I saw was amazing. So moving. I'm tearing up. Mel, you gave it your best and triumphed, even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you, who has completed all the trials. I grant the secret armour of the Master Dojo. It'll take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted. And that's all, gang. As you were. Mel? Um, I... well? Ah, oh, leak code. Fast bro gonna steal her bow. <laughs> yes. You're really strong. Aww. I like her. Wasn't even the rare version, yes. <laughs> I wonder if she does have a rare version. Clara was originally an underground pop singer. She promoted herself as a star that had both cuteness and the virulence of poison. She energetically held live concerts and other events, even selling some Clara-themed collectibles that she made herself. But in spite of everything, she only managed to sell eight copies of her debut album, Crazy for Clara. <laughs> Aww. She decided becoming a gym leader would help her gain more popularity, and has been working toward that goal since. She chose the poison type because it matched her image and there was less competition. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's an amazing backstory. But unfortunately, because this Pokemon game has no voice acting, no one heard her sing. Aww. Trying to steal Koga's thunder. <laughs> Did Koga ever release an album? Because that's that would be hilarious. My Pokemon need healing? Nope. Excellent. Wait, what was. Oh, okay. I thought one of them was still poisoned. Clara, she did her best. I'd be honoured to meet you in the field of battle someday. I want to fight you. Yeah, let's fight. Fight, fight. I thought I saw the battle court light up at the start of the battle. Maybe it was just my imagination. What an amazing battle. Clara did great too. Congrats, you were so cool. Aww. Wow, you're gonna get the secret armor. What kind of armor do you think it is? You're really strong. I bet you'd really rake it in if you opened your own dojo, huh? What did the master tell you after your battle? Everyone's happy to win something, aren't they? But losing is also something to be valued. It's the fuel that propels you to growth. Know what I mean, love? I do. The last trial was just an ordinary Pokemon battle. I guess the Master wanted a pure show of skill and strength? You were really, really great. One day, I'd like to be strong like you. Oh, I like her. Koga's dropped an underground rap CD, including a diss track on Giovanni. <laughs> Giovanni has been busy trying to bury it. <laughs> ah, there you are, Mel. Keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armour of the Master Dojo. Now then, come on out. Little teddy bear! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's so cute. Bear? This bear is very well animated, yeah. This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Cubfu. I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Mel, maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care of Kubfu, okay? It's in your hands now. Firma. Oh god, you're cute. Especially when Pokemon games don't really do long animations, yeah. You wearing Kubfu? Wait, it's not supposed to be worn? Oh god! <laughs> Wish you, Pokemon. Kubfu trains hard to perfect its moves. The moves it masters will determine which form it takes when it evolves. Ness. Now then, the first thing for you to do is become best friends with Kubfu. You need to build trust. Kubfu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so maybe it'll help you become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armour. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly toward each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armour. Yes! You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go and take a stroll with Cubfu, why don't you? Once you're best buddies, we'll start Cubfu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. No. I want to cuddle it. <laughs> Blow up my fist pump. <laughs> spirit tomb time. I don't know if I have a spirit tomb. Oh, I have one in home. It has a bandana built into itself. Yes. <laughs> Where'd you go, little cub foo? There you are. Level 10. Aww. You little cute thing. This one's naughty. Naughty little bear. Oh yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen Donkey's G Max now, so I think I can look at it in the Pokedex. Um, you can fix that. <laughs> Whoa. Gigantamax energy has caused Rillaboom's stump to grow into a drum set that resembles a forest. Oh wow, he's... It's got no lower body. The drum set is its lower body. That's interesting. <laughs> Maximum drum. I think its body stayed the same size. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's cool. Other 
people say about my little kung fu. Myra seems down in the dumps. I wonder if there's anything I can do to cheer her up. That secret armor had some moves. I can't wait to see how it grows. Kung fu is so cute. I should have tried harder on the trials. Oh, hi. Suddenly there's a Pikachu kid here. Do you like taking your Pokemon for a stroll? Yes. Alright, have a nice long walk together. Oh, okay, you have to turn that on. Okay. I heard that the Master found Kubfu overseas during his travels and brought it back to Galar. I wonder when they'll get around to making a dojo uniform in my size. <laughs> oh. It can't be bothered. So, the secret armor was actually a Pokemon. Who'd have thought? And those moves. It was really something else. I guess I could take a break in training for now. Maybe I'll go get the tons of armor I ore. There are lots of little islands around the Isle of Armor. If you have a bike that lets you ride on water, it might be fun to go and explore. Hmm, if only someone... No, but who would gather that moon? What do you want? Oh, Mel, just the person I wanted to see. Tell me, do you collect wads? Yes. Of course you do. You're such a pro at all this, Mel. I'll have you know that the wad business is positively booming right now around here. They say that those who hold the most wads hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather up wads to spruce up the dojo a bit, get some more gear. But both my darling hubby and my son are more the indoor types, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect that many wads all on my own. If you ever happen to have some wads to spare, I'd be glad to take them. Oh, but I wouldn't ask you to give them to me and not give anything in return. This would be a business transaction, of course. I'll reward you for your generosity. Whenever you have extra wads, come and talk to me. Mm, okay. Could hire a hairstylist for the dojo. Oh, okay, that's cool. Sure. You can have 5,000. Yay, you can have a hairstylist come work at the dojo. Hello, is this the hair salon? Yes, this is Honey from the Master Dojo. I was wondering if you could spare a stylist to come enjoy the lovely island life with us. Yes, that's right, the Isle of Armour. Mm-hmm. They're sending someone right over. <laughs> Hello Dojo, it's lovely to meet you all. I'm your new hairstylist. But I can't bear all the secret arts of hairstyling to you all. So when you'd like to have something done, please call on me in this room. No cameras allowed. <laughs> and no speaking of what you see inside this room. Now that's a real pro. True masters are always picky about their craft. <laughs> but now we can always look our best. Even out here in the wilds. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. Got to get a Rotomi terminal. Yeah. Think about the meaning of what you're doing and it'll help you focus even more. I'm going to start preparing now, just so I'm not caught off guard if the master decides to send us out on another sudden trial. Alright, well... We, uh, we did the three trials. We got a cute little bear. Very cute little bear. We can have Pokemon follow us around. What's this? Let's see how you and Cubfoo are getting along. Getting there, but there's still lots of room for improvement. Your bond will become stronger as you have battles and gain experience together. I put some little markers on your town map for where the view of the Isle of Arm is just gorgeous. You and Cubfoo should go and enjoy the scenery. Once you two are the best of friends, we'll start with Cub Fu's proper training. Okay. I might change back to my normal clothes now. Ah, new ones. Messy bun. Short and undercut. 
punk pigtails. <laughs> and elegant updo. Oh, that's quite nice. How does that work? I don't know, it's cool though. Uh, long and straight? Yeah. I think I had side swept? Or do I have lust lash grazing or none? Side swept, I think. Yeah. Nah. You don't have the budget to animate a new room and a stylist. Make it secret in the healing room, yeah. Anime here doesn't need to work. That's true. Punk Pigtails is the one for that one NPC. Yeah, that that, that one NPC. I don't I don't remember her name. <laughs> okay, what am I usually wearing? All these things I've got now. Yeah, it would be really nice if you could have a, uh, a saved loadout. Neon blue. Ooh. Let's see, what shoes did I have? I don't remember what shoes I had. None of these look like my kind of shoes. Oh, my shoes! I don't know. So I just have blue shoes. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose I had that one. It looks kind of weird with these socks, though. Oh, the the. Uh, different coloured socks, that's kind of cool. You played. Yeah, white socks I think goes better. Yeah, I'll go with the black, actually. I like the black. Yeah. yeah. And no gloves. Whoops. That one. No gloves. Find a better backpack. If there is one. <laughs> Donkey! Oh my god, he runs like an actual gorilla. Oh my god! Please have this in every future Pokemon game, please. Please! Oh my god, it's Donkey Kong! It's the donkey! Let's go with Lanky! Please have it toggleable too. Ah, uh, for if you don't want it. 
Why wouldn't you want it though with Dawson? Oh my god, look at Lanky move. Oh my god. But yeah, having a toggle is fine though. Especially if it affects the frame rate. <laughs> Oh, Lanky's kind of slow. I diglet. Suddenly found a diglet. Chunky. <laughs> Awkward little run there. I like that. Are you holding your pants? Ah. Oh. <laughs> So don't fall down. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Chunky's very short, actually, isn't he? Diddy! Diddy! Hello! Playing some sick riffs. I just love the design of Toxtricity. So cool. What you looking at, Diddy? Diddy's cool. Tiny. Aww. Aww. His, his speed stat isn't that that low. <laughs> oh. Go away, bunnies. Leave Tiny alone. so slow. Dixie! Dixie's gonna be very... yep, very tall. Oh my god, you're so pretty. Look at all your hair. It's ridiculously over the top and I love it. Oh, she does a little bow. Oh. Drum. have a different animation if you whistle at him. He's gonna poke my eye out. Yes! <laughs> Majestic. Yeah, she's pretty. She's so pretty. What does Lanky do if I whistle at him? I gotta just check out all these animations now. Yeah? Ooh, he lights up. He's pretty. Aww. Okay. It's, yeah, I'm pretty much going to end the stream soon. I'm just enjoying this lovely feature. <gasps> Pulls out his drum. Ah, oh, we should play it. No way, Jigglypuff. <laughs> I don't want to hear your song. I want to hear Donkey's song. Where does drum come from? Shh. <laughs> he does the gross guitar playing either way. <laughs> Dang cat, every time you go to clean out her ear, she conveniently disappears. Oh. She knows somehow. She knows. Alright, what Pokemon should we check out? I want to see different follow animations. 
Who have we got? How do you walk, Gothatil? How the frick do you walk? Ah, oh, you, you levitate. <laughs> feature. Me likey. I like. Alright, who else are we looking at? Applin! How does Applin move? Does it like hop around? And how small is Applin? Oh. Oh my god, it rolls! Oh my god, that's so cute! Oh, this is the best. Oh, I love this game. Oh my god, you roll around. Rolling, 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 rolling. Ah. So they have like different move speed animations depending on how fast they're going. They have a slow and a fast. Ah, I love this game. Just found her. She's under your bed behind the tote you store your sheets in. Oh. <laughs> Gonna have to wait till she comes out. Oh dear. Bloody cats. Bloody cats. How does Ap um how does Hatterene walk around? No, actually let's just leave you here. Oh, that, that doesn't really leave an empty space, does it? No. Oh well. Hatterene, how do you move? Oh my gosh, that's a slow Pokemon. <laughs> She getting here? Oh well, she does have like twenty base speed or something, doesn't she? Any Pokemon you all want to see? Most of the psychic ones are boring and floaty. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I'm just gonna check out random Pokemon. I suppose, I suppose we can do the one they wanted us to do, the little bear. Little cup food. Hello. Aww. Oh, you're cute. Yes, you are cute. Hmm. Let's see. Something odd. Oh, hey, look, let's see our legendary. This big old strong puppy. Oh my god, you're tall. Oh. Have a little chat. Oh, you're so pretty. Now, how do I change your form? Do I have to use the sword or something? Combat only? Ah, boo! That's a shame. Ah. Uh, can't have the cool power it up or follow me around. Uh, oops. Alright, who else can we check out? Fairy Thorn's got an interesting walk. <laughs> Very slow, <laughs> as you might expect. Hmm. 
Marathon such a cool design. This is my Pokemon animation stream. Enjoying all the walk animations. Hope you like it. Uh, who did I swap out? I lost my Pokemon. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah. Um... Kuku Muku, how do you move around? Points that screen, realizes I can't see. <laughs> uh. I did not realise Puku Muku has a fluffy tail. That's cute. Oh my god! <laughs> does the does the bee? That's not a tail. Uh oh, what is it? Do I want to know. Steelix. Steelix is a big one. So it's, it's a girl. It's a big girl. Let's check out the big girl. Oh. oh my god, you float! Why? That's right, you were floating when I found you in the wild too, weren't you? I wish we could ride around on them. That's the next step. Bring that back. Magnet rise? Yeah, yeah, probably magnet rise. That's cool. Alright, who else do we want to see? I mean, Weezing's just gonna float. Oh, well, that's. that's Say hi to our Eternatus. I assume it would just float, but uh, I want to see how big it is. Oh god, there it is. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I bumped the mic. Hello? God, this thing looks terrifying. Please don't kill me. You can go back in the box now. <laughs> You're too scary. Too scary for me. Alright, who else can we look at? Uh, some of these... Probably just float. What a shield to move. Ah, oh, yeah, it moves as if it's swimming. <laughs> I think next time I'm going to get all my legendaries out of uh, Pokemon Home and then we can check all of their movement animations. Cherim, how do you move? I'm guessing you like waddle or something. But you have to tell your pet, please don't kill me. Yes. <laughs> ah, look at that weird little waddle. <laughs> it's a uh, sunlight form is battle only, isn't it? It's surprisingly cute, the way it moves around. 
Very endearing. Oops. Lepras, do you just float or are you gonna walk? Said that to midnight when she was lost. Ooh. You swim through the air. Why not? Said that to midnight when she was laying on you. The paw on each side of your neck. Ah. <laughs> Does the evolved Wooloo roll? Hmm, good question. Let's find out. Double. Double. Ah, it, it, well, it does a cool little frolic. Doesn't roll anymore though. Honda, how do you move? Oh. Getting there, getting there. Oh. It looks very awkward, doesn't it? I like how we just keep having random bunnies run up to us. <laughs> well, what do you do? And how big are you? Oh, you're pretty big. Hoping you were gonna roll, but oh well. <laughs> God, that smile way on my head. Oh, what you looking at? <laughs> it's huge. Wonder how big Whale Lord is. They seem to have different sizes than in battle. I mean, we do have that huge Whale Lord out in the water. Toxapex. Yeah, getting there, getting there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, whale lord is yes. <laughs> Toxapex is a really cool design. It's awful to fight, but it's a really good design. <laughs> it's a very stally Pokemon in competitive. Bergmite. What's up with you, Bergmite? Aww. Another small, uh, slow Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, you're so slow! I thought you might slide across the ground, but no. <laughs> That's a no. Oh my god, you're cute. Glacial. Still follow you when you're on your bike. That's cool. Huh? 
Oh, man type. I mean, it probably just floats, right? Yeah, in the water, they jump up and down out of the water. Probably just gonna float, though, hey? Yeah. No. Oh. We've seen how Phalanx walks, because where we that's where we caught one. Oh, <gasps> Diglett. Diglett and Doug Trio. Ah, I mean that makes sense. <laughs> That looks very silly. <laughs> so I'm guessing Trio will do the same thing, so. Let's see, what else can we look at? Arctazolt. How, how big is Arctazolt? I'm curious how tall it is. Oh, hi. Oh, look at you. Oh. I feel bad for Arctazolt. It's like, help me! Oh god, that walk! That walk! Yes! Look at that walk! <laughs> oh. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. How how small is Axiom? Let's see how tiny this little baby is. Oh, look at you! You tiny little thing. Go away, Jigglypuff. <laughs> Needs a mask. Oh. <laughs> Needs a lot more than a mask. <laughs> Poor Arctazolt. What has science wrought? Petrum. Are you just going to float around? You might just float around. Don't let you walk on your weird little hat feet. Hat feet, I guess? Hello. Aww. Aww. I really like the, the Hatterene line. Check out Sinisty. Might as well while we're here. I mean, I, I guess it just floats, but hey. Oh, look at how small you are. Little teacup filled with gross ghost goo. <laughs> Forbidden grape juice, yes, exactly. If I've ever seen Toxel move around. They're usually hidden by the grass, so I can't see how they're moving. Oh. Very lizard like waddle. Little tantrum. I'll throw another little tanty. Ah, little tanty. 
I should really stop streaming, I'm very hungry. <laughs> Alright, anything interesting I want to see before I stop? Oh, let's see how small Joltik is. I must see how tiny this Pokemon is. Ah, oh, it's, it's not to scale. Well, Joltik, you're... Oh god, it jumps like a tick! Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! I'm scared of Joltik now. <laughs> Yeah, Joltik's supposed to be like this big. <laughs> Tanty, yeah, Tanty's a great word. Milchen is hangry. <laughs> oh my god, that's very creepy. <laughs> no, it is a tick, Joltik. I already know Krabby walks sideways. Our oh, Beltoy uh, spins around. We've seen that in the wild area, though. Yeah, a lot of these we've seen them move around the wild area. Hmm. How does Ditto move? I don't think I've I've gotten a good look at one. Oh, I jump. Hop, hop. Oh, it's making some gross noises. Blob. Cute little blob. Okay. Yeah, I saw a Shucky on the overworld, so. Stunfisk, how do you move? If you can. They just kind of lay there. No. Oh. <laughs> it's a trap. Yep. It's a trap hopping towards me. Part of you. <laughs> what a weird Pokemon. <laughs> Ah, oh, car coal, I need to see it rolling around. Oops, ran into a jiggly. Bloody jiggly. Car coal! <laughs> I'm surprised we were able to escape. <laughs> Level 18 versus 60. Brow. Yeah, you know, as fast as I expected. Okay. That's about it. Yeah, all the water Pokemon just swim through the air, so that's a shame. We can see Wooloo roll around. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Yes! Ah, oh, cute. So if you haven't seen Pokemon Twilight Wings yet, you should check it out. It's on the YouTube, the official Pokemon YouTube. 
There's an episode about Hops Wooloo, and it's adorable. And I think finally we'll check out Magic Up. See if it flops around. <laughs> That's a magic app, all right. <laughs> it's swimming in the air, and back down it goes. <laughs> Nearly nine o'clock. Might play some of this on my own tonight just to go catch some stuff. I don't know, see how I go. Oops, I mean to save. And uh, next time I'll try to remember to bring in a whole bunch of legendaries and then you can see how they walk around. But thank you all very much for watching. Who can I host or raid? Um, we have Sakura. She's playing. Oh, she's playing Link to the Past Crowd Control. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I'll send you all over there. That's where you can pay bits or uh, maybe channel points not sure oh yep yep you can pay channel points to mess with her game <laughs> so that's pretty cool thank you all very much for watching uh sakura it's awesome. yeah thanks for watching everyone i'll see you all next time see ya